Welcome to Functional Horsemanship. We're going to continue on uh, sacking this horse or exposing this horse to some gunfire uh, so he won't be so worried about it when I can get on his back and start shooting. So, like the first post, I started off by, by uh, the very first time I ever shot any, any guns off, any multiple rounds, uh, was when he was eating. I shot him a couple rounds off, uh, he got a little nervous, figured out it wasn't going to hurt him, went back to eating. The next step was the last post you saw where I'm on the ground holding his reins, firing into the ground, and then moving to his to his flanks and firing to the flanks like that to get him uh, used to that sound, uh, him thinking that that sound's not gonna hurt him. Uh, and today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot a couple rounds again into the dirt, uh, get him used to that sound, I'm gonna get on his back and fire a couple rounds from his back. Uh, whenever you're using guns, you gotta be safe with them. I'm using blank ammunition, blank, uh, long cold blanks from Buffalo blanks, uh, the, the, but even if it's blank ammunition, still the gun, safe gun handling rules are still need to be adhered to. And those are, you never point a gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. Your finger stays off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Guns are always loaded until you physically determine that they're not. Okay, so this gun's loaded. And the fourth safety rule is that be sure of what your target is and what's in line with it. So you won't be shooting past something or have somebody come into that gun to target line and, and hurt somebody. So again, never point a gun at, at anything you're not willing to destroy. Fingers off the trigger until you're ready to sure of your target, ready to fire. Guns are always loaded until you physically determine that they're not. And be sure you're gun the target line. Okay? He hasn't heard any blank ammunition today, so he's probably going to have a little bit of a reaction. I'm going to, I'm going to, he hears the click of the gun. I think he may understand what that is, so I'm going to cock that single action, point the ground. Okay, and you see his reaction is probably a little bit less than what it was before in the last video. I'm going to do it again. Okay, you're okay, buddy. You're okay. Settle down. Settle down. I can give him a little uh, hardened cookie, maybe a little protein cube or whatnot, and uh, that'll help release some endorphins, uh, let him understand that this isn't such a bad deal at all, you know. Noise ain't gonna hurt him, he gets fed. Good boy, good horn. Okay, you're all right. You're okay. Okay, I've intentionally ran the cylinder past a couple rounds, so when I point the gun and click it, he's going to hear a clicking noise. I want him to get used to that as well. You're okay. It's important to let, them, let him smell that gun, too, so he's not so upset about that uh, the overwhelming smell of uh, gunpowder or whatnot. Not putting the hot barrel next to him. I'm just letting him see this, uh, see and smell this gun. Okay, nothing to it, is it? Huh? You're all right. You're all right. Here you go. Blank rounds up here. All right. I think he's sacked out enough for me to try to shoot a couple rounds on his back.
make sure I got a, a tight rein. I may have a little bit shorter rein on the side. Pull the gun, expose him to it, pull it up. You're okay. Good horse. Reassure him. Nothing's going bad. One more round. You're okay. There you go. All right. I think you've seen a difference in him uh, when he's first really agitated by the gunfire. It's, he gets a little more relaxed. I reassure him after every shot. Uh, he just needs to learn that it isn't going to hurt him. I hope this helps functional horsemanship.